Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We recently went on a fishing trip to Venice, Louisiana, an offshore fishing trip, caught some yellowfin tuna, and uh, had a really great time. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that trip and um, just kind of let you know um, what we learned on it and what you would need to pack. So if you're getting ready for a Venice, Louisiana trip, you know, got kind of like a bucket list trip, and you need some insight on what to bring to make sure that trip goes smoothly, well, this video is for you. So here we go. So I remember I was talking to some friends about fishing in Venice, Louisiana, and they're like, oh yeah, we did that trip, great trip, had a lot of fun. And one of the first things they kind of told me was you know, when bringing a cooler, bring more than you think you'll need because there's a lot of fish down there. We caught a bunch of tuna, and we even dropped down for swordfish, and swordfish is really good in Venice, Louisiana. Uh, saw several brought in. We didn't catch any that day, but definitely a good possibility you'll get some. So you could get, you know, if you get a good-sized swordfish and you caught some tuna already, you know, bottom fishing, snapper, all, you could have a lot of fish meat. So whatever, you know, you think you need, you might want to bring a little more. For us specifically, we brought uh, a 65-quart uh, cooler. And that's what we brought all of our food in that we were going to eat while we were down there in. And then we also brought an even bigger cooler um, between me and my dad. So the food that was in that little cooler, you know, we were going to eat up and we could put fish fillets in there. Plus we had the really big one. And between those two, that kept us covered. And just for reference, we fished two days in Venice, Louisiana. Now, there were six of us on the boat and we put three people's tuna, you know, we caught 12 tuna between two days and half of the tuna fit in that bigger cooler. There are the friends who came, they had their own coolers. So, but so just an idea, you know, roughly six tuna, around 40, 50 pounds, we fit in that big cooler. But if you get more fish, swordfish, you know, make sure you have plenty of cooler capacity. In line with that, you know, you're gonna wanna bring bags too. You get your charter, they'll probably tell you, you know, bring gallon baggies to put the fillets in. So. Make sure you pack a bunch of those gallon baggies, you know, maybe get a couple boxes. Uh, I don't know what they come in, like 30 something maybe, but have a couple of those ready to put the, the meat in. Now we also have a smaller flexible, you know, insulated kind of like bag to put our drinks and food and stuff in. And you may want to bring something like that or just some bag to put that food and stuff in because it seems like a lot of the charter guys, you know, they'll have a compartment with ice. So you're not gonna be able to bring just a big cooler and put it on the boat, especially if there's, you know, four, five, six of you guys splitting the charter. You don't want everyone just to have coolers on the deck. You need to have that space. So have like a, a bag you can carry that onto the boat, dump it in there, you know, probably below deck fish box. And um, it'll make things a little bit easier having that. So if you're packing for this trip, you wanna make sure you bring the right clothes, okay? First things first, bring yourself some rain gear. Um, you don't want to get wet on the boat. When we went uh, both days, we actually had showers and rain we had to go through. You know, even if it doesn't rain, um, if it gets windy and kind of rough and there's a lot of ocean spray, it's nice to be able to put on waterproof gear. The water will just roll right off you and you won't get cold or wet or it won't be miserable on your trip. It definitely makes things a lot more comfortable. So I brought um, my kind of waterproof rain fishing boots. Um, had my fishing bibs and a waterproof jacket. If it were in the winter when it was colder, I would have brought my, I have a Mustang float jacket, which is waterproof and has insulation, keeps you warm, and it also acts as a life jacket. Um, just all around great jacket. Depending on time of year, you definitely gonna wanna stay warm. Now, since this was kinda May and it was pretty warm when it wasn't raining, I brought my go walk kinda boat shoes as I call them. They're like a, like a water shoe and they work really well on the boat. And it's nice when, when you do get out there and it's hot and you just take off your rain gear, slip on those shoes and um, enjoy fishing in the warmer weather. Otherwise, make sure you bring uh, other normal fishing clothes. Um, you know, maybe a performance shirt, hat, sunglasses, um, bathing suit, whatever you normally wear fishing. And then of course, pack clothes that you'll wear when you're not fishing. You know, when you get done afterwards, you might wanna go out to eat or cook something up or you know just kind of those basic things you would pack with you when you went on a trip. One thing to know about Venice, Louisiana is it's pretty much a straight up fish town. Okay, there's not a lot going on. It's not a big city. 
you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, which is nice. But that being said, anything you want to bring down grocery wise, you need to make sure you have before you get there. I think they told us there was this place and it's basically 70 miles from Venice. It's like the last grocery store that they really have there. So depending on what you're going to do, uh, if you're going to stay in a houseboat, for example, if you're going to be there for several days, you may want to bring food to cook. Um, we brought food to snack on and the stuff we were going to take on the boat with us. We brought a case of Gatorades, case of water, foods I like to bring on the boat. Like we brought some Hawaiian rolls and lunch meats so we can make sandwiches throughout the day. Uh, brought like granola bars, cliff bars, something those are good kind of foods to snack on. Fruit cups, cans of fruit. Uh, fruit's always a good idea on the boat because it's hydrating and plus you get that, that good energy from it. So make sure you pack uh, plenty of snack foods. You know, you're gonna be on the boat if you're offshore um, 10, 12 hours. So if you got your trip planned, obviously you're gonna need somewhere to stay. You know, if you're doing multiple days fishing or just if you wanna get down there, stay in a place, fish, camp there that night and then head back in the morning. So you got a couple options. There are a couple motels down there. I believe the Lighthouse Inn and the Venice Inn Motel. And I think um, the Venice Inn is roughly at this time uh, $90 a night. The Lighthouse is a little bit more. And then the other options are houseboats. There are a lot of houseboats in Venice. It's kind of like basically set up uh, it's like a little Airbnb or whatever you want to call it, little little motel, kind of your own private little house. Uh, we stayed in a friend of ours uh, houseboat for one of the nights, and it was really nice. It could fit, you know, plenty of people easily, six people, maybe more, depending on which one. And you had options, things you can cook. A lot of it had dock space, so if you're bringing your own boat down, the houseboat option may be good for you. And all in all, it was a nice setup. It's pretty interesting. We had a bad storm blow through that night so you know the house but we were on two stories and and being up top like all of a sudden I woke up I felt we were we were rocking it was moving us pretty good so uh, that was an interesting experience you won't have that if you're in one of the motels on land but depending on the houseboat you know I think one of those was about 300 a night I'm sure it all depends on which houseboat who you get it through stuff like that but higher price but if there's more of you splitting it then it might be the way to go for you so Venice, Louisiana is pretty much a fish town. Um, Marsh is kind of middle of nowhere. There's a little bit of oil industry from uh, talking with the guys down there, but pretty much it's just fishing. There's the Venice Marina and then there's Cypress Cove, two marinas. Now a lot of those charter boats, they can pick you up at either of those, depending on where you're staying at. If you're staying close to Cypress, they'll meet you there. Venice, they'll, they'll pull up there. At the Venice Marina where we met up, it's, you know, marina, um, it's where you gas up, where you clean your fish and all that stuff. There's a, a little bit of shop there. There was a restaurant up there. So if you, you know, want to eat out, don't want to cook your food, you can eat at that restaurant. Otherwise, Venice isn't a very big town. There's not a lot of options. Remember, there's not really a grocery store. You know, you're not going to go down the road and stop at a McDonald's or Chick-fil-A. Pretty good off the beaten path. And in that respect, it's also, if you're thinking about vacation there, it's not like the most family friendly place. I mean, it's not like there's a beach where your little kids and wife can, can hang out at while you're fishing. It's pretty much straight up fishing, you inshore fishing, offshore, and there's some duck hunting. Um, you know, not really many other activities to do there other than that. A lot of wildlife, saw a bunch of gators while I was there, so be careful about where you're wandering around. Some big ones too, when we were coming on the boat, the captain saw some pretty good sized ones. But you know, hey, it's Louisiana and you're in the swamp, so what do you expect? Overall, that's kind of what we learned about Venice, Louisiana. If you get a chance to fish there, I really enjoyed it. So I think you'll enjoy it too if you're you know, a big time fisherman. Just remember to pack appropriately, bring the clothes we discussed, the food, coolers, you know, all that gear. Fishing wise, if you're chartering, captains will have everything, but um, you know, all the personal stuff, sunscreen, you know, make sure you bring those. If you guys got any other questions or specifics or anything I could tell you about my experience at Venice, Louisiana, I'd be happy to help you out. If you guys got any tips of your own, if you fish there, please uh, just feel free to post them in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.